Now I'm gonna give you a mini tutorial on how to solve gimbal issues. This is a this kind of a beginner tutorial. If you have animated for a long time, you probably have your own methods of uh, fixing this stuff. But here's a, here's something I use, and it works 80% uh, of the time. If I run into another uh, another instance of gimbal locking, I'll do another tutorial on how to fix uh, on how to fix that. But for now we could uh, see this animation and I went uh, from blocking from step blocking into uh, into spline and now between this pose right here these two poses you can see the arm flips out and if you wanna if I'm scrolling through the keys this is what I want I want the same uh, the same pose but it doesn't know how to uh, get from from uh, one key to another. So usually it's a stray key, and I'm gonna go into my graph editor and get this uh, get this checked out. I'm gonna open up my graph editor here, and let's go into the rotation. So if you look at rotation Y you scrub through it and you could see that it goes a long distance it goes a long distance here and then starts coming back so we're gonna look at uh, we're gonna look at the d difference here and it goes from negative 89 degrees all the way to 408 degrees so what happens usually is when you're uh, rotating with local it's just gonna do a best it's gonna guesstimate and sometimes it's gonna flip out and give you uh, the wrong numbers here so you just wanna go into your graph editor select your stray key and I'm gonna select it and press minus equals 360 and that's gonna subtract 360 degrees from uh, from that key and it pops, uh, it pops into the same. And as you can see, it hasn't uh, changed the pose at all. And uh, now the graph is cleaner. Let me just clean that up a little bit. And now let's scrub through it. And it's still flipping out. So there's, uh, there's probably another key, another stray key in one of the rotates that's also doing the same thing. And we'll look at Y, and Y is fine. And we'll look at Z, and here's the stray key, and we'll do exactly the same thing, but we'll have to uh, raise it by 360 degrees. So we'll select that key, and go into uh, this channel box, and type plus equals 360, and that snaps it up 360 degrees. Now let's uh, fix that a bit, and now if we scrub through it, the gimbal locking is gone. A lot of people try to uh, try to completely uh, bypass uh, bypass gimbal locking by going or just these gimbal lock errors by going into uh, the gimbal rotation mode but oftentimes, well the point of gimbal locking is that it locks uh, your two axes and then you can't rotate uh, rotate the hand or whatever object you're selecting. So usually I just rotate in local and then fix any gimbal issues uh, later on. And that's all there is to it.